This video is, What is a Failure Analysis? I'm Michael Pfeiffer. A failure analysis is performed on metal objects that stop performing as required or fail to meet quality requirements. The objects include metal stock used to fabricate a component, such as coil, rod, tube, or wire, metal components, and welds, brazes, or solder joints between components. Examples of items that fail include metal stock, components, joints between components, and devices. When a device fails, part of the failure analysis process is to identify the component or joint that failed and then do a failure analysis on that component or joint. When an item fails during use, it does so because it has degraded to the point that it cannot perform as required. The degradation is a result of exposure to various stressors. There are six categories of stressors that can cause metal degradation. These stressors are shown here. They're mechanical, chemical, electrochemical, thermal, radiation, and electrical. Examples of each type of stressor are shown here. When a component or joint between component fails during use, it's because the stressor has caused degradation of the material to the point to where the component or joint can no longer perform as required. At that point, the component or joint has failed. There can also be failures during manufacturing and assembly processes. This is when a manufacturing or assembly process produces defective components and joints between components. The purpose of the failure analysis is to help identify the cause of the defect. Examples of manufacturing and assembly failures are metals with low strength after heat treatment and cracks in a weld joint. Failure analysis is part of the root cause analysis process. During the failure analysis, we try to identify the failure mode, the mechanical stresses and environment to which the failed item was exposed, the failure mechanisms, the metallurgical features and deficiencies of the component or joint, and how the component or joint was manufactured if the failure was associated with something that failed during use. There are three phases of a failure analysis. Phase one involves collecting these samples and then collecting the background information regarding the use and how the item failed. Phase two involves the metallurgical examination to determine the failure mode and mechanism and the metallurgical features of the component or joint. Phase three is to analyze the data and, if necessary, write a report. A little about me. I'm the president of Industrial Metallurgists. I have over 20 years experience with failure analysis and root cause analysis, and also help companies with engineering consulting related to product development, manufacturing process development, quality improvement, and cost reduction, and also we provide metallurgy training courses. Finally, I wrote a book, Materials Enabled Designs, the materials engineering perspective to product design and manufacturing. Let me know if you have any questions. You can find my email and phone number on the bottom of each page of this video. Thanks.